In this video, I will show you 5 crucial points to make any dress better in Marvelous Decider or Flow 3D. Let's start with number 1. Do not ever work on T-pose. T-pose is your enemy in Marvelous Decider. Like, honestly, see this for example. The sleeves are completely ruined in T-pose. Well, in real life, our natural state is actually A-pose. Dress patterns are made knowing that your hands will be down most of the time, like like an A pose. And have you ever tried to lift your arm and see those ugly folds on the sleeve? Yep, that applies to MD as well. So never make any dress in T pose. Always prefer using A pose. And if you can do it with slightly more A pose, it will be amazing because the draping will be amazing. Well, number two, avatar plays a significant role. Garments only shine when worn by somebody, right? In MD, this is the exact same thing. If your character looks blocky like PS1 game, or your avatar doesn't have any structure definition as how we are in real life, garments will not look good no matter what you do. So keep in mind about the avatar. Don't use any blocky avatar. Make sure the proportions are correct and lifelike, and your dress will be amazing, trust me. Well, number three, learn a bit of pattern making fundamental. I know, as a 3D artist overall, or as a character artist, it's not always the case to learn pattern making, because there is a lot of work a 3D artist has to do, such as modeling, retopo, UV layout, texturing, learning anatomy if you're a character artist, so I really feel you. But having a basics fundamental, like the base of the basics knowledge of pattern making will significantly improve your garment making skill in Marvel's Decider. So I highly encourage you to learn basics of pattern making. Always start from beginning, like a simple circle pattern, then a basic t-shirt pattern, then dirt, seams, yoke, and a lot of things. And the fun fact, you can learn them online for free. Like on YouTube, there are countless tutorials you will find. All you have to invest is time. And yeah, I will also make a pattern make tutorial in Marvel's Designer in the future. So subscribe this channel, please. Alright, number four. Pay extra attention to the texture. Fabric is flat, right? No, it's not. Let's move aside cotton and denim. Because the detail on this fabric is clearly visible from far. But what about silk? There is no detail on silk, it's mostly very smooth and plain, right? Well, yes and no. Because if you zoom out so much, you can see the thread woven. So my point is, do not make the fabric flat. Always pay attention to the normal map as well as roughness map. Those two maps are ridiculously important in fabric creation. I also recommend you to learn Substance Designer to make the fabrics. But it's completely optional, if you're happy with Substance Painter or any other texture softwares, best cool as well. But in Substance Designer, you can generate every single thread, loops, details, procedurally. And if you want to make fabric in Substance Designer, you can watch this video. And lastly, number 5. Render it. Yes. No matter what rendering engine you are using, if your textures are flat, so is your render. Beside the texture, lighting plays a crucial role to make a realistic render. For example, I render every garment of mine in Cloth 3D. I use this light 07 preset, and I tweak the main light in an about 45 degree angle to make enough shadow and lighting contrast, and oftentimes I place a rim light to enhance the back of the dress. So in short, in order to achieve a realistic render, pay attention to texture, Pay attention to fabric types, color, details, and lighting, and your garment will look stunning. Well, the very last thing you have to do is to like this video if you get something from it. And please comment, it really boosts my morale, honestly. I really feel so happy whenever I see a comment. And if you want to watch more videos like this, click here to watch. Until then, see you in the next video.